it's getting very popular. These are called fat tire bikes because they've got a fat tire. The first thing I do is check the weather, try and get a game plan for the day. You know, where am I going? How long am I going to ride for? How much water to bring and gear, clothes. If it's really warm out, I won't wear pogies. I just wear my regular gloves. It's full of insulation, so it's like an over glove for your bars. It, it clamps onto the bars. You size them up. Like these are almost four sizes bigger than my regular shoes. So you can fit lots of, lots of layers of socks, <laughs> stay warm. These are made for cycling. There is an advantage to clip-in pedals. It engages right here. You're locked into your pedals. You can, as well as pushing down, you can also pull up. So you have, you use more muscle groups. You're running five inch tires. Uh, um, four, and four and a bit. Four PSI. Normal tire pressure would, for me is, is usually between seven and nine PSI. Usually if you're having difficulty riding um, through snow, like say you hop on some single track, if you have some difficulty, a lot of the times it's because of your tire pressure is just a little too high and then you just let a little out. And then I have a pump. They are large volume tires and they take a little while to, to inflate. One thing that's critical for me is hand warmers. In the winter when it freezes and we get a little bit of snow, there's a lot of trails that open up. Like right over here, like that's all marsh in the summer. You can't even go back in there in the summer. In the summertime, some of these trails are so rooty that they're almost unrideable. Uh, whereas with a good snow cover, you just float right over the roots. One, you don't get all muddy. Two, there's no mosquitoes. And three, mostly the bears are asleep. Whatever tool you use, whether it's skis or snowshoes or you know anything and everything that gets you outside is, is my ideal lifestyle. Mm -hmm.